So Logic Pro X templates have been around for quite a few versions, but they're incredible and you should use them. And here's how I guess I use them. Let's first use a, a default template that Logic gives you out of the box, which is incredible. So we can go from File in Logic Pro, we go to File, New from Template. From in here, it should default if you've never created a template to project templates. For me, I have created templates and I think I was just in there. Maybe it remembers your state of whatever area, your folder rather, you were last in. Um, but in this case, this is likely where you're going to see this um, when you click new from template. And as you can see, Logic gives you a few options. Uh, this one I haven't downloaded. Let's download it. That would be fun. Um, the it's probably tons of string stuff and microphones, but so each one of these has a different feel and vibe to a different tempo. If you notice, some of the, the information down here will change. So probably the key will stay the same, but the tempo would change based on its, its genre of music. And, um, and then the other things that will change are inside of these templates, which we'll open in a minute. They have instruments sort of dedicated for tracks to make hip hop songs or electronic songs or say acoustic uh, songwriting, singer songwriter type songs or orchestral or multi-track or music for picture or whatever. You could keep this much more broad and you can, you can build upon these templates or you can create your own from scratch. Let's go to the electronic one. We'll leave the default values here. We'll click choose and that will build us out a session that has multiple instruments labeled nicely, labeled to what they are, and they're already ready to play. All right, so you can already imagine you're two seconds away from hitting record and you can do anything, right? So let's do that. All right. Okay, well, as you can see, we didn't have to set any of this up. We didn't have to worry about routing. We didn't have to worry about anything. It just came with it. So before I get into making a new template from scratch, you can also um, save as template. So if I like the sound I have in here, let's say I want to create an album out of, you know, the sound I achieved out of this. Say I put in a lot of energy and time and making this template great. It doesn't have to be one from a template, from a default template. It could have been your own template. But the point is refining this into something that sounds magical to you. You may want to reuse that, repurpose that into uh, your new foundation for starting any track. So next, let's make a new template from scratch. So let's get into that. We're going to go into new and we'll go ahead and add a drummer, a hip hop drummer. Let's add um, a software synth. We'll add some arcade. So let's grab this one. Never even played it before. Linked up. Soft vocals quietly ask, can you feel it? Ooh, I like that. Let's hear it. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? That's cool. That's an instrument. We already have drums. Let's make a song. Let's say that this is our progress. We've, we've been refining this. We finally you know, learned how to set all these instruments up and we figured out a good place. Let's make another song though. Some, somehow we get inspired along the, along the journey of making music. Let's make a track quick and then we'll get inspired from that. Maybe we'll make another one, but we want to carry over those same sounds. That's where templates are amazing in Logic Pro X. So let's just make a little song. And now let's save it as a template. And this is our own template. So we can either decide to save it with instruments. Do we want to save the performance as a template? That's commonly what I do. I'm going to save this, like copy the notes and stuff. Actually, that did not work. I'm going to save both of these, all of this, all that MIDI information, all that information right there, that MIDI information. Then I'm going to save as template. And we will call this my new this is my new template and I already have one saved. We're just going to go ahead and click save, replace it. And now I'm going to go and click new from template. And I will close this 
I will not save it. I don't know if my, what I just did there is I saved the MIDI information, my clipboard. I don't know if it's going to be retained when I go back, but let's bump, actually let's bump down the, vol, the tempo in this one. So we're, we've chosen, this is my new template and we're going to bring down the tempo so we don't have to do it in the session. We're just kind of setting up the track here. We'll click choose. And then from here, we are going to see if I can paste this back in. You're about to paste regions on multiple tracks. Choose. It does work. That is awesome. Totally worked. So there you go. I brought in the MIDI information from another track, another session, and I opened this song here, this session rather, um, from a template that we created. Thank you so much for watching these videos and clips of my workflow and process. Seriously, if, if you found any of these videos helpful on my channel, please consider subscribing. I appreciate you and everything you've done to support me thus far. I can't thank you enough. Remember, this is all an experiment.